Hey girls, so this week um, I wanted to talk about overwhelm and when you feel overwhelmed and when you've got so much going on in your life, you just want to keep it simple. You don't need to get everything done all at once right now. There's no such thing as perfect. There's never going to be a time where everything in your life is going to feel is going to be perfect and you might get that feeling of happiness and feel like that life is just good for no reason from time to time which is awesome but that doesn't mean that every area of your life is sorted and it doesn't need to be that way to be happy anyway so when you're feeling overwhelmed you just want to focus on one thing at a time you want to cut out anything in your life that isn't important or isn't a priority and just focus on the most important stuff if your house is a mess all the time and you can afford a cleaner, get a cleaner. I only um, I pay my cleaner twenty dollars an hour, so forty dollars every fortnight, and she cleans the whole house and does the washing for us. Obviously, we've got to do washing in between, um, but it's just such a huge weight off my shoulders, and that means that's more time that I can spend either relaxing, spending time with my kids, or reaching out and helping more people like like all of you in here. Um, so, and that stuff's more important to me than, than cleaning the house. Um, if there's like a big long to-do list of things that you need to do around the house, but you've got all this other stuff going on in your life, don't worry about it just now. Try and, try and get, um, kind of the basics decluttered. So you kind of surfaces and the areas that you're, um, that you're mainly living in, but that doesn't mean you've got to declutter all the cupboards and your clothes and everything else that can save for a time when you've got, when you've got less on, when you do have the time. Okay. So what I do, I write out my top three priorities the night before, and I usually do this for my business, but then I also have like a kind of personal list as well. So my top three priorities, um, for each day business wise, I'm usually reaching out to, to help someone in, in a certain way. So it might be calling someone up or, um, putting some content out there or something like that. Um, and then I also have, have other things basically relating to that as well, getting my message out there, helping more people. Um, for my personal life, I might have something to do with training. I might have uh, something to do with tracking my food and I might have one little thing I've got to get done around the house or something um, for myself. So if you write out your top three priorities the night before and then you've got that list there, um, I've got like all this stuff here actually. I know that when I've got a list there, I can cross it off and get it done rather than getting on Facebook and getting distracted and um, forgetting what I was going to do and taking longer to get things done. So just your top three priorities because a big long to-do list makes you feel even more overwhelmed. You can have that bigger list on a separate piece of paper, in a book, on a document in your computer, something like that. And then if you've got more time and you've done your top three, you can do some more. But if you don't, at least you know at the end of the day, you've done the most important things. So I want you to think about what are the most important things for you right now, maybe one thing around your training, one thing around your exercise, and one thing, sorry, one thing around your nutrition and one thing around your mindset. And, um, or you could do things like time out for yourself or something around the house or whatever, like I mentioned before. Now write your top three priorities out the night before to do the next day, because sometimes it'll get halfway through the day and you forget and so you just don't end up getting them done. So write them out, pop them up in the group for me so I can have a look and give you any tips. And if you want to, you can do that on a daily basis, putting them up in the group for a bit of accountability and to get that habit in motion as well. Because the more you do something, the more it becomes a habit and you'll just do it naturally after a few weeks or a few months or however long. So pop them up in the group. Remember when you're overwhelmed, focus on one thing at a time keep it simple. You don't have to do everything all at once. There's no such thing as perfect. Um, just to give you one more, um, uh, I guess, example or one more little story. Just before, I'd been out all day, um, had a busy day, uh, dropped my daughter, to, or went for a big walk this morning, dropped my daughter to school, then went to, to run a class, then went to do my own training and a massage, then came back home. I was so tired. Um, my son woke me up really early this morning. So instead of going in my brain, I was saying, I've got so much stuff to do and I was getting stressed out. 
Um, but I was so tired. So I let down, had a nap on my son's bed um, whilst my partner picked our daughter up from school, realized that I don't have to pick her up every day. Having a rest for me right then was more important for me so I could spend some time with them and not get cranky at them tonight. And then after my nap, I've got like four or five things crossed off my to-do list plus an extra couple of videos that I didn't have on the list as well. And I'm feeling much better now. So take naps when you need to. Let yourself to just relax and unwind if you need to as well. You don't need to be push, push, push all the time. So that's just one extra thing for you as well. So get up your top three priorities in the group. Let me know if you've got any questions, anything else you'd like me to cover on future videos and let me know how you're going. Post in the group as much as possible and you'll get the most out of it. Have an awesome night girls.